Hello, hello, and welcome to this 20 second progress video. For this video, I decided it was time to get to some bando skilling. I have not done any bandos on this account yet, and I could really use the armor, and the hilt would be nice as well. The bandos god sword is probably the best one to get. But briefly, before we get to the bandos content, I forgot to include some clips in the last one. I got 96 hit points, which means 110 combat. And I unlocked the Troll Stronghold Teleport, because uh, with the hilt you can only teleport 5 times a day to the God Wars dungeon. And I'm most of the time I am on Ancients, so I don't have the Troll Stronghold Teleport from the normal spellbook. So getting this teleport in my house would be a nice way to guarantee that I can always get there pretty quickly. And with all of that rambling out of the way, let's get to the video. I have myself another 10 caskets, so let's open those, see if we get any collection lock slots, ooh, white beret, not too bad, ranger boots, no but a master, let's see, alright be right back. Could not complete this master, need a Zemrak full helm that I don't have, so too bad. Nope. Then I'll take any collection lock item. One second. And I'm back and I completed it. Please give me some collection lock slots. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, be right back. I could not complete the master, but I did get an extra easy though from an impling. So maybe it could be an extra collection lock slot. <laughs> well, that's the worst one I've ever seen, I think. And the master casket. No, nothing. Ooh, 90 Slayer. It's a very nice level. Hey, there is 94 magic. All right, so I will show two contrasts. First, I'll show my first ever bando skill. I have this set up with six tiles that are marked. I have the starting tile labeled as start and then you have to skip one tile essentially every time till you get to the altar and then run back and do the same thing. It kind of works but I had some issues uh, figuring it out completely. So I looked at some other guides and well what you'll see now in the next clip is that my tile markings have changed a little bit. Essentially what I changed is when you enter you go to the west wall tile you shoot from there then you walk to the most southern tile shoot from there and then with the highlight true tile uh, option that is in the tile indicators you can see on which tile you are exactly and that way you can just see whenever you are on the correct tile so you don't have to mark all the tiles in between so for the first kill you use the western mark tiles and then from there on out you can use the tiles in the middle and with that method, I managed to get, I think, almost a 40 kill trip one time. What I did change as well was bring more stamina, because in the guide they said it was costing no run energy at all. And maybe it was because I took a blood barrage setup that I needed run energy because I was a bit heavier. I definitely needed stamina for this. So if you're doing, if you're trying this with 77 agility like me and the setup that I use, then I recommend bringing some stamina because you will get food drops and you will get super restore drops probably. So having enough stamina and ranging pots is the biggest factor to staying a long trip. So that's pretty much it. Now to see if I got some loot.
Oh my god. <laughs> 26 KC. Holy shit. It's amazing. Seems like my luck never stops. Oh. Nice. This is very good for the account. Now I only need chart one, I believe. And then we have the set. No way. <laughs> how how do I get this lucky? I got the chest plate and now I get the test. It's, that's insane. It's actually fucking insane. 159kc. Yeah, I can't complain, I guess. Keep saying that because I can never complain. Pretty much. <laughs> Holy shit, that's amazing. All right. Well, that's the loot from Bandos out of the way. But I want to show a few death clips as well, because otherwise it looks like I'm a pro and I'm really not. <laughs> I struggled quite a bit with learning this uh, boss, so I died quite a few times, had to teleport out quite a few times. I want to show that as well, just so I don't become too cocky. And you know that I'm not good at this game. Oh my god. I died. <laughs> Fuck my life. <laughs> oh, it was 1 HP. And then let's get to some other clips. And there's also a small surprise at the end. So if you don't want to watch everything, at least watch that. There are 10 more caskets in my bank. Would like some collection lock slots. Or ranger boots. Brown headband, okay. Oh, I got a Mimic. Yeah, I guess I'll try it. Hey, Mimic Veteran. <laughs> you get that right away after one kill. Alright, I'll take it. Hmm, nothing special. But first, KC out of the way. Alright, then it's time for the last five caskets. Ooh, gothic split legs. Nice. And nothing else. And for the last elite. Nothing as well. Okay, to test out my new and improved melee setup, I decided to do some scutizo and see how that goes with bandos, tessets and chest plate. So I did I think 9 Scortizo kills, I had 9 totems, and then 9 clues to open after that. What the actual fuck? What's going on? What the hell? 1 in 65, and I got it at 8 KC. I did say something about getting a boss pet every episode. I think I didn't get one last episode, but... Pretty sure the two episodes before that I did. So maybe it was just a break of one episode and now we're back on track. Let's see. 76. My fucking god. Holy shit. Okay, I got rid of all the totems that I had. Got to Scortizo kill count 15. 
and got nine hard clues and let's get lots of collection log slots please no Ooh, Zamorak plate body and Bandle's plate legs. Nice, the Zamorak body is really nice. And the last four. Already have that. Ooh, the red d body G. Eh, not too bad. Three new items. All right. I am ending the video here. For Bandles, I got to 165 kill count total at the end of this video. And of course, got the test sets and the chest plate, as well as one of the Godsword shards. So, not too bad. And for Scartizo, I ended at 15kc. And of course, got the pet now. Um, that log is also looking very nice now at 15kc. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a like and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Lights out. Lights out.